is Hollywood stylist Philip Loft joins me now from Los Angeles. So let's talk about the clothes. Let's start with Lady Gaga. We saw her there. She's on your best dress. It was absolutely beautiful. There is a new Lady Gaga out there. She's very chic. She's very elegant. And it's all about the movie star Lady Gaga. You know, she's an award winner now. And I, I think that Brandon Maxwell couture outfit was very, very chic. Very chic. It seemed like two parts of, of, of a little bit of a dress and a little bit of a pantsuit. I'm not sure if I agree with you, but I'll, I'll, I'll leave you. You're the expert. Let's talk about Alicia Vikander. Well, at least it wasn't the meat dress. It wasn't well, the meat know. dress I mean, she looked kind of fab in that meat, didn't she? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that... Anyway, I don't know if I, that works for me. Let's talk about Alicia Vikander. Alicia Vikander was one of the stars of the evening. She has a campaign with Louis Vuitton, so I think it was very important that she was obviously going to wear Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. And she was like a little princess. That yellow is always a big hit on the a red carpet. A little princess. I and mean, the criticism has been that she looked like a Disney princess. She was more like, you know, <laughs> Belle, not Belle of the Ball, but more like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I mean, one article had her as this was the best duvet award. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, people are always going to have memes now. And a lot of the dresses look like uh, cartoon characters. Kate Blanchett also, it's sort of with all the flowers, it looked like uh, an Ariel, the Little Mermaid. <laughs> well, I mean, yes. I mean, I think Kate Blanchett is on your worst dress list. She, she did look a little bit perhaps like she just changed into a human after being a mermaid for a while. Uh, you know, I think it's, it, it's beautiful, though, isn't it? Does it work? It was though? very worked. You know, it's a couture piece. It's Armani Privé. But, you know, when you see it, it's just so overpowering, the flowers and the sparkle. It wasn't Kate Blanchett's best look, and she usually looks amazing. She's someone we really look at in award show season to see what she's going to wear. She wears intellectual gowns, we like to say, in the fashion business. But this was a little too cartoonish and not so intellectual, I guess. Not too smart. Not, not smart enough for you. So let's talk about Rooney Mara. Another one, uh, somebody described this as her looking like a bride at an intergalactic wedding, embroidery goth. Well, that is one way to put it. It was definitely a bit goth. Everything Rooney Mara wears is a bit goth. Even when she wears white, it's still very goth. It was, uh, it was, it was not her best look again. Very pale, the tight hair. We've sort of seen this and seen this and seen this with her. And this is kind of the worst version of what we've seen with her. It just felt wilted. Uh, you know, like, it, even she's got to zhush the dress because it just doesn't feel very, like, a big impact. It was very, very stiff and very... <laughs> well, there we go. I mean, yeah, there were sort of panels and slits and buttons and ruffles and all of it together. Um, I'm sorry, we are going to have to leave it there. We, we could... We could gossip all day about these outfits, but I'm sure it's all going on online. Thank you so much. Thank you.